what is the measure of angle A? So we're given two sides here, and to find the angle measure, we're going to have to use sine, cosine, or tangent. So we're looking at angle A, so from angle A, let's label our sides. We have the hypotenuse, and we don't have the opposite, and we have the adjacent. So adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So cosine of some angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. It's actually angle A, so we'll leave that. The adjacent's 10, the hypotenuse is 24. We want to get A by itself, so we have to take the opposite of cosine, which is cosine inverse. So we're taking cosine inverse of the left side of the equation, and then we take cosine inverse on the right side of the equation. These are opposites, cosine and cosine, and we're just left with A, and then cosine inverse goes in the calculator. So functions, inverse cosine, 10 over 24. Make sure you're in degrees. So 65.4. And because I'm talking about an angle, I need to add the degrees on there. 65.4. 